And I just want to say to you and the staff, uh, you've had a great year. And uh, we want to th certainly thank you. Thanks, Len. Thank I'm you. I'm not finished yet, but... I know. <laughs> The work that JRF does with the bright, motivated young people it serves is an unusually successful model, as evidenced by our incredible almost 100% graduation rate. like to emphasize tonight that just as Jackie Robinson did not rest on his baseball laurels but instead went on to have an incredible impact uh, through his social activism and his political participation in the system, we at the Jackie Robinson Foundation have taken on the task of codifying what this organization has done over the last 39 years and we've developed an articulable mentoring curriculum we like to call it and we've actually dubbed it 42 strategies for success in college. Did you know that a quarter century ago, nearly 70% of freshmen believed they were in the top 10% of mentally stable people in their class? Today, only a little more than half would rate themselves that highly. I am Alexandra Almore. I am a senior at Harvard University, majoring in neurobiology. <laughs> Recognizing stress, one of JRF's 42 strategies for success in college. Despite what many believe, according to new research from The Ohio State University, college students value self-esteem more than sex, alcohol, good food, seeing a good friend, and money. at Carleton College, majoring in Sociology and Anthropology. <laughs> Self-esteem and personal empowerment, one of JRF's 42 strategies for success in college. According to the Center for Information and Research on Civic Learning and Engagement, there is an ever-widening racial and ethnic gap in young adults' civic and political participation. Unfortunately, minority young adults are the least engaged. I am Amanda Camille Patterson, a senior at Howard University, majoring in biology. Engagement, one of JRF's 42 strategies for success in college. Sixty-eight percent of college students rarely budget. In fact, some of us don't even budget at all. Only half pay our credit card bills in full each month, and 40 percent don't know the annual percentage rate of our credit cards. I'm James Salasad, senior at the University of Texas at Austin, majoring in biomedical engineering and computational biology. <laughs> Money Matters 101, one of JRF's strategies for success in college. And what, wh where are you from? I'm from the Bronx. These people would cheer for anything now. <laughs> I, th I think the dessert is kicking in. <laughs> and, and the Bronx, is the Bronx known, the area you, you live in, is that known for putting out MIT people? Nope. So, the school you attended, you were heavy into what courses? Uh, physics, mathematics, English and history also. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. And, and who at home is driving and helping you to believe in this? My mom. Why? 
Hard work is the minimum for her. <laughs> then it was Jackie Robinson, a role model for all of us, a man of enormous dignity and grace under the most enormous pressures. He exemplified character. When he said, I am not concerned with your liking or disliking me. All I ask is that you respect me as a human being. That was powerful for a little Puerto Rican girl and many, many more of us. He reminded each of us to value our own personal dignity and relinquish it to no one. Amazing. Obviously, it's a tremendous honor for me to join the impressive roster of past award recipients. Tonight, I'm sharing the stage with a baseball legend, the former commissioner of the NFL, and a performer who has won a Grammy, a Tony, an Emmy, and an Oscar. For a guy who peddles insurance during the day, this is about as good as it gets. While we often emphasize the importance in our society of embracing difference and diversity, Jackie's interview and his words there show us the overarching importance of recognizing our common experiences, our common humanity, our common values, and our common challenges, the sources of our mutual respect. That for me is Jackie Robinson's legacy. It's about mutual respect and what we share in common as humans. It's not about slanders and slurs and attacks. So for that, we have much to be very proud. And for that, we have every reason to continue to support the Jackie Robinson Foundation. Thank you very much.